Hi everyone, it's just turned 7 a.m. I've driven two hours and I've hiked another hour. I got up so early today. <laughs> but it's worth it, I'm at a new beach. I've never been here before, I've actually never been close to this place. And I'm hoping to find a penguin. Rumor has it that someone's found a penguin here before. I'm hoping to make it two. <laughs> there are rocks here. I'm not sure if they have fossils in them. We're gonna have a look now. There's something I recognize. Let's see if you can spot the fossil. Those are legs, I think. Yeah, that looks like a crab. Yep. I'm not sure what species would be out here, but that's definitely a crab. I'm going to guess a Tumeracarsinus giganteus. It's by the color of that claw and the shape of the concretion. Yeah, that's not a bad crab. Nice. There's something a bit different. That looks like a nautiloid. Arcturia. Maybe. Yeah, that's one. You can see the chambers over there. There where my thumb is. That's a chamber. Even though this one's damaged, it might be worth doing a cross-section of it. I think that might come out quite nicely. I've tried to prep one of these in the past. There's a video on my channel and they are so difficult to prep. The one I prepped anyway, I think it was already broken inside. Goodness, that took ages. <laughs> That's beautiful, look at that. The chambers inside there, they've been filled up with a crystal, maybe calcite. It's beautiful and you can still see some of the knacker, the mother of Paul on top there. That's beautiful, I'm happy with that. This new beach is looking good. And another one. Mm, no. <laughs> oh, look at that piece of jasper. Got some greens and reds in there. It's a nice piece of jasper. If you want this piece of jasper, Leave a comment with how much you think it weighs. I'll send it to you if, you if you're the closest. That's not just in New Zealand, anyway, I'll send it to you if I can. Is that another piece? Mm. Yeah, maybe. It's even got a little bit of agatized sections in this one. Up top there, there's some a little bit of chalcedony turning into bands, I think. That's cool. We haven't found anything since that Nautiloid and we've walked about another kilometer or two. So we're heading back to that bay, see if we can find more stuff there. The rocks changed and it's not concretions anymore, it's more like a conglomerate. So I think we might have gone out of the right time zone. This stuff's probably a bit younger. You see where there, there were rocks and things in here that have been weathered out. Lots of shells in here, and I suppose if you took your time, you might find a shark tooth or two and try and get it out. But if you look at it, it's very fine bits of shell. It probably means it's been smashed up. So there might be some damage to a tooth as well. This one's a bit different. It looks like a large vertebra. But it's in a different type of rock, it's in a conglomerate, not a concretion. So the rock's made up of a whole bunch of shells just cemented together. And 
has a nice piece of vertebra. Is it a vertebra? Yeah, I think so. Maybe a whale? Given the size, you can see there's the, the spongy material there where my thumb is. Hmm. I think I found something good. I was looking at the shells in this concretion and I saw a little bit of bone. I haven't picked it up yet. Yeah, there's some bones sticking out there. Hmm. It's a nice little bone cluster. You can see there's quite a bit coming out there. And then further to the side there's some more. I'm not seeing teeth. I'm also not seeing your ear bone. So I might just be looking at a bunch of vertebrae together. It's probably still worth taking back and GPS tagging. So I haven't found any, well, I haven't found any bone here on this beach other than that uh, piece in the younger stuff, the conglomerate. Yeah, that's cool. So there is bone in these kind of concretions over here. So it's a good start. I think I'll pack it until it gets too heavy. <laughs> this concretion is cracked all the way through. I haven't looked inside, so let's have a look together. <laughs> What's it going to be? <laughs> Empty. Nothing inside there. Don't let trouble form a concretion. Oh. Here's another candidate. It's got a big crack almost all the way through. Let's see what's inside. You know what that is? That is a nautiloid. You can see the chambers over there. That's a beautiful complete nautiloid. <laughs> I'll take both halves back and just glue it back together. <laughs> That's going to be a perfectly complete nautiloid. There's nothing else inside. There's nothing showing on the outside. So this one's going to be perfectly complete. Look at that. Have a look at those crystals there. That's the living chamber over there where the animal would have been. And those are the the ones it used to be in, I think. That's how it works. That is beautiful. That's my most complete nautiloid. Well, it's 100% complete. <laughs> it's going to be a heavy carry. Well, no penguin today. <laughs> but it's still a good day. I mean, we found two nautiloids. I don't know if I come back to this beach. It's a really long trip. Um, and we didn't find an awful lot of bone material, which I was hoping for, and no penguin. <laughs> it has to be out here somewhere. And here are today's finds. Really not bad for a new spot. It's always a little bit hit and miss with <laughs> a spot you don't know. You never really know what to look for. Let's start with this crab. You can see there are some of the legs sticking out there. That's just a little bit of the one of the claws. And then that would be the right hand claw. The larger of the two. 
you can see that dark area in the front is um, the front of the claw and that's kind of the shoulder coming around it's quite a flat concretion I'm not used to them being that flat I wonder what's up with the crab inside I wonder if it's been squished a bit yeah that's not a bad crab I'm not sure of the species I'm gonna guess it's something like the tomato castanus but I haven't found a crab from this area I was so uh, could very well be anything here's that first nautiloid I found and it's a beautiful large one you can see that's the outer shell and if you flip it over that's kind of how wide it is you can see a little bit more of the, the chambers over there and then some really beautiful ones there on the inside I'm pretty sure they're filled in with calcite so they should glow under UV and you can see the mother of pearl still visible over there really is a beautiful one here's that bone cluster I'm gonna guess it's whale bones just by the size of them I'm not sure which actual bones they are I'm gonna say something like vertebra if you look at that kind of looks like the the one side of a vertebra it's not in great condition there's a few more bones on that side a few shells scattered throughout it I think this is gonna go into the mystery bucket here are those two bits of jasper you can see this one's got some nice greens inside even on that side some red and greens I'm going to be giving these two away, so if you can guess the weight in grams of this one, I'll send you these two pieces. This one's pretty cool as well. It's got all sorts of rocks going through it, and it's little bits of chalcedony, I think. Especially on the one side. It's quite red on that side, but I think over there I almost saw a little bit of agatized sections. Oh, there it is. Maybe over there little bit of info. Here's my first ever complete nautiloid, or it would be complete once I glue it back together. Um, I'm not too worried about fossils that break cleanly like this, they're very easy to glue back together and many of the fossils you see in a museum have been glued back together. It's just part of the process. This is the one half and you can see that's the outer part of the shell going all around there. And then those are the chambers filled up with some kind of mineral, I'm guessing calcite. And here's the matching piece over there. It's always really nice when they already have a crack forming inside them. Uh, the water would have been working its way through it and um, on that part of the coast it might even freeze. So the freezing and thawing action would naturally have broken it. What I'll do with these two halves is I'll glue them back together and then really measure the thickness here so I can come in with the angle grinder and remove most of the rock and then hopefully it should be a pretty easy prep. Then I've got an update on a fossil I found maybe January, February? That's a few months ago at least. Um, the only thing that was visible was this little section over here and it kind of looked like it could be an ear bone so what I did is I just put it in acid for um, I put it in acid for a day and then in fresh water for two days and then acid for a day and it's a really slow process and a crack started forming there I don't know if you can see that over there that sometimes happens uh, there will be some invisible cracks and the acid will seep in there and work away and if you see that forming it's good to just pop it open um, to make sure that the acid's not going into the fossil and when I popped it open have a look at that that's a whale ear bone so it's going to be worth prepping it out that's definitely a ear bone I sent it off to the museum and they could actually identify the part of the ear bone it is and this is the part of the ear bone that handles hearing and balance so that's really really cool 
Thanks so much for joining me everyone for that hunt. I really enjoyed it. Even though we didn't find a penguin, found some pretty cool fossils. I'm also sorry I haven't done a prep in a while. I'm busy with a big prep project. If you remember that 50 pound crab. That's the one I've been spending all my time on. I'm about 120 hours in and there's probably another 80 hours on it. <laughs> Stay safe out there. I'll see you soon.